Hello and welcome to the live stream of CGTN. I'm Zheng Yubin here in Beijing. Today, China has released the big news. Um, it has uh, uh, a big discovery on the lunar samples because it has found a new mineral, which is called the Chang'e site, named by the Chinese scientists after the goddess of the moon in Chinese mythology. And here we are at the uh, China Beijing Research Institute of the Uranian Geology. So let's get inside into this building. We'll go to the first laboratory related with the lunar sample. So follow me. Uh, getting across this corridor, and we see the window here. And inside the window, uh, the working staff is working here. Hello. <laughs> so can you? Uh, OK. So this is uh, one of the researchers here, and whose name is He Sheng. Uh, okay, so let's get inside. Hey, Hei, 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 So the first, uh, when we get inside in this uh, laboratory, we have to wear the shoe cover. Uh, let me help the, uh, let me help the, uh, the cameraman. Hey, okay. I'll take away you then. Okay, Okay, uh, let me do it. Thank you so much. Uh, this is really important because when we go inside this laboratory, we have to keep clean, uh, make sure our shoes are clean because uh, this is afraid of dust laboratory. So please. Uh, now we get into the first section of this laboratory. There are a lot of computers and desks, um, <laughs> different working platforms. And in, in the usual time, the working staff here are doing experiments and doing the monitoring on work. So, Mr. Mr. He, so I'm just one, I just want to ask you, so what is this laboratory is used for? Can you do some kind of the introduction? Yes. Uh, this is the we call the Arts and Science Research. We call the Arts and Science Research. It is very important to make the same and so this laboratory, the main task is to doing the, uh, the analysis and the, the observation on the, uh, the elements, something related with that. And so getting through this door, what would you see inside? Uh,
Now we're inside this laboratory because of the signal blocking. Uh, the, the signal here is not that good. So uh, the signal temporarily lost. And here we are again in, inside this laboratory. And uh, take a look at the, the table. There's a very big box. And um, literally translation is a lunar sample transferring box. So Mr. He, Mr. Hsheng, uh, could you tell us what is this box is used for and what are the, uh, can you introduce? Uh, yes. Uh, well, inside this little, this, this bottle, there is a lunar sample. It's a precious lunar sample brought back by the probe Chang'e 5 in late 2020. And we saw that before in a lot of places. Okay. Uh, so the uh, lunar sample looks like the, uh, it looks black, and this particle is really, really tiny. Uh, so inside this box, this, um, this metal device is used for transferring the lunar sample from one laboratory to the others. Okay, so uh, at the very first time back in the year 2020, uh, the lunar sample together with this box and also this, uh, this small one with a logo of the Chang'e 5 lunar sample was sent here from the uh, China's um, uh, the Airspace Agency and Administration, also the Lunar Exploration uh, Program back in the year 2020. So this is really, really beautiful. And what do you usually do here? Uh, uh, so your prior job is to um, store uh, the lunar samples here and then protect them and keep them safe here, right? So I'm just wondering what that device is because uh, it shows uh, the glove box because we saw it somewhere else in the um, in different places, for example, in the Chinese Academy of Sciences because they also received the lunar samples from uh, the lunar exploration uh, program. So what do, do, do they usually do? Uh,我们经我们是把这个月球样品呢，就是经常呃，一般情况下我们会放在这个充满这个氮气的手套箱里面，然后让它尽量的滴水滴氧来保存它。So uh, 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 usually uh, this this box is really a confined area, uh, totally isolated from the outside environment. Uh, so when we want to use it to touch the lunar samples, how do we usually do? Yes. Uh, indicators have to go back to the zero point. That's the first step. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, Mr. He, Mr. Hsheng is going to show us how do we uh, usually operate on this glove box to operate on the lunar samples. When lunar samples, once it's inside this box. Oh, okay, please show us. Well, at the same time, uh, we got a message from one of the other um, viewers here. Let's see uh, what the question is. Uh, okay. So. Uh, so the, they leave us the place for us to, to hold up fingers into this. Um, the glove and uh, what's next? Push, push, and we can we can hear the the sound here from the device. Yes. Uh, uh, it is a bump for the bumping out the the air because his hands 
、uh, is going to move inside. Yes. 然后继续的往前走 Continue to move inside. 然后继续以后呢，你就可以看到我这手指是出来了 <laughs> So right now, Mr. Hsiang's、um, both hands are already inside this box. 然后两两只手指，呃，两个手呢，可以相互的帮助一下。Okay, they 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 are going to help each other to move their hands into the box. 对，然后呢，这个准备好了以后呢，如果叶璇如果叶璇样品在这呢，你就可以拿起来进行一些操作。嗯、oh. um,。So if the、uh, lunar sample is inside the box、um, in front of the Mr. Ho Jin, and now he can operate, but now. Uh, the lunar sample is not inside, so、uh, so can can you have a, let me have a try? Yes, of course. Okay. So I, I see you do it very、um, fluently and professionally. So is it is it easy? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I have to wear the glove myself and、uh, let me have a try, because this is really complicated. I saw it somewhere in the National Observatory, in also in Beijing from the.、Uh, The Chinese Academy of Sciences two years ago. I saw the lunar sample was sending there for the、uh, research and analysis. Now, finally, I got the, I got a chance to operate into this glove box.、Uh, so、uh, I'm trying to wear this、um, gloves. Very beautiful. Am I right? Okay. So,、um, let me just trying to imitate your. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Hu, me. Thank you so much for the. Yeah.、Uh, uh, You're welcome.、Uh, is it right? Yes. Ah,、uh, I should do it slowly.、Yeah. Um, but、um, I can feel the air inside this glove. Also, the same way.、Yeah. My, I feel、oh. a little bit clumsy in doing this. 慢慢的往前 Ah,、uh, do it slowly. Am I right? Yes. Yes.、Uh, thank you so much for helping me. A little bit, a little bit、um, afraid. Is it the right way? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Ah,、uh, I have to do it slowly. Okay. Uh, 先让一个手先出一点 Okay, so, uh, Mr. Hsiang suggests me to let my one of my hands out. Okay. 这只手可以。Uh, you can help my other hand. Yes. So, <laughs> so usually you would you would do to operate on the lunar sample this way, and the lunar sample is usually displayed here, right, in this box. Okay. Well, I can feel it. It's really a very special feeling. Thank you so much for showing very me. Cool.、Oh, very cool. Yes. When I when we stroke my hands, I. Should also do very slowly, right? Okay. Ah,、uh, <laughs> this is a really special feeling. Thank you so much, Mr. He. Okay, and、uh, so can you, can you tell us something something else about this laboratory and、uh, besides the glove box, and what about others? What other devices you usually operate? And yes, of course.、Uh, 呃，这个就是我们的这个叫二次离子质谱仪。嗯。啊。So is there in English? Because this word sounds really complicated.、Uh, yes. 呃，然后呢，它就是我们刚刚已经介绍了，它主要是做一些很微小的这个元素跟同位素的这样一个分析。啊、uh, 嗯。So this huge, complicated device is doing the analysis on the elements, um, very small particles of the elements. And this is the operating room with the computers and other devices in this room, and this is really, really special.、Um, uh, how, how, how many hours do you, do you usually work here? 
呃，我我一般来说呢，如果这个仪器状态好的话，我们会二十四小时的工作。Uh, so you would you would take shifts with your colleagues and working here to observe to uh, keep close contact and keep close um, monitoring of the lunar samples, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, well, I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the live streaming from the uh, the Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology. From this institute, today Beijing has breaking. A very big news that is, uh, they have found a new mineral from the lunar sample brought back by the Chang'e 5 um, lunar probe um, back in the year 2020. And this morning, um, the China um, Aerospace Agency and also the uh, China nu National Nuclear Cooperation jointly released this breaking news. This is a, a very big news for not for not only for China but also for other countries. Thank you so much. Um, this is uh, Mr. He, and who is responsible for storing the lunar samples in this laboratory. But this is only the, the first step. So after this, we're trying to move out to other laboratories because this box is, um, is for transferring lunar samples to other laboratories. Now we're moving out. Mr. He, helping us to get out. Thank you so much. Please. We're moving from the inside this laboratory and getting out. Let me help. So, uh, so hold on for a second. Let, uh, let me take off the shoe cover and help you. So, Mr. Ko, help me, help me with this, and please get out. Be careful. Uh, be careful. So when, we, so when we leave this place, we have to take off the uh, shoe cover. Uh, thank you, Mr. He, and thank you for what you're doing, to the, uh, what, you, uh, what you contribute to this great cause. Thank you. So see you, see you next time. See you next time. See you. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're trying to get through this corridor in the first, very first, in the modern building of the Beijing Research Institute of the Urini ge Geology. And we just, uh, we're just uh, leaving this laboratory for storing the lunar samples brought back from the Chang'e 5 lunar probe. And now, be careful, and we're getting to other places. This is a very grand building. Well, this in institute is really, really uh, famous here in China because uh, it done a lot of job for the geological discoveries in a lot of foods. We have been following the institute to do some kind of discovery um, report in, across China, but this time is really special. Now, this there is a museum. It's about the uh, geological um, museum related with uh, nuclear, so uranium ore. Let's go inside and meet the leader of this team. Uh, good to see you, Professor Lee. And nice to see you. And nice to see you again. And this is uh, Professor Li Ziying uh, from the uh, this institute because he is a professor here. He is not only professor here. He's also the leader of the research team on the new findings of lunar samples brought back to the Chang'e 5 probe. Uh, professor Li, uh, honored to see you. And could you tell us about this? Um, what you do to this project? Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, for a very nice introduction. So. Uh, and uh, welcome to this uh, museum. This is a scientific and uh, technical museum of our institute, so mm. Beijing Research Institute of Uranium Geology. And in this mu uh, museum, so you can see uh, very briefly the history uh, yeah, of uh, uh, of our uh, work, so uh, uh, exploration for uranium resources. You know, our institute is focusing on exploration for uranium resources. Yes. Yeah. So. And it's this kind of work started in early 1950s. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I know that uh, during the uh, discovery of the new mineral on the 
um, from the um, lunar samples. Um, you also did a lot of the other analysis and research, for example, on the, ton, on the Uranian and also Antonian, uh, so, 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 so uh, uh, because I, I see a lot of the ores and the, 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 the minerals here, uh, mostly related with the Uranian. Could you uh, introduce, introduce something about that first? Okay, so actually in this museum, so you can uh, both of this uh, uh, kind of minerals, as, uh, uh, as you mentioned, that the first four we have collected is this uh, uh, uranium and the sodium minerals, uh, as shown you can hear. And also you can see the, the common, ordinary, so uh, minerals. So, yeah, it's different uh, types of uh, minerals. So, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, so uh, there's a good connection, you know, uh, uh, between the, our studies and also this uh, discovery, so new discovery mm. of uh, uh, this uh, new minerals, so uh, from this uh, lunar oil samples. Mm. Uh, okay, so because uh, this, uh, the same, this is belong to the same mm. uh, mineralogical subject. So, so, uh, uh, so, you're, the, uh, so you're really the professionals and your yeah. team, and also at this yeah. institute with the rich experiences in detecting sure. the minerals, including the Uranian, That's also right. and um, the other common minerals. Yeah. So that is a connection between your job and also the new funding on the lunar soil. Um, right. uh, my, my question is, um, looking around, circling around this museum, we see a lot of the uh, interesting things, magnificent yeah. minerals. Yes. But I'm just wondering, um, because this morning I saw you participating, you witnessed the press conference about the release of the, this breaking news. Yeah. So uh, what was the feeling that, that, that at that time? Yeah, we, we are very happy, so I'm very honored, so because we are scientists, so for the first time, have discussed uh, this uh, kind of new minerals. So I think it's also the sort of country, like uh, China's sort of country, so mm -hmm. in the world to mm -hmm. this kind of discovery. So just after uh, US and the former USSR. So, uh, uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, as you also mentioned, so we have a uh, rich and long experiences and also very good basis. Mm. Yeah, so long time studies for mineralogical studies. Yes. Yeah, because it's a technical research uh, uh, method and our techniques are similar. So uh, the only maybe difference is the, the lunar soil samples, so mm. brought back by Chang'e 5, so it's very, very fine. Mm. Yeah, you know, it, the, the, the condition mm. uh, on the moon is quite different on the condition really of the Earth. So mm. there's no air, no water there. So, mm. so yeah. So, so the, the, the lunar oil samples is uh, composed mainly so of a basalt, a broken basalt. So it's a very fine basalt. Like uh, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, this is some, so first, uh, we, we applied it successfully, so just uh, 50 microgram, uh, milligram, yeah, so milligram, so, so, so we, it's very, very tiny, so yes. uh, amount, so yeah. I, I know that is, um, uh, from, the, uh, from the official, I mean, the uh, Aerospace Authority of China, yeah. according, because I interviewed the leader of this agency, and he told yeah. me, um, back in back in late 2020, um, yeah. the Chang'e 5 lunar yeah, probe has yeah. brought back 1,731 grams of yes. lunar soil, lunar yeah. samples. Yeah. Uh, the, so far, four batches of this lunar sample has been distributed yes. to various um, yeah. organizations. Yeah. Um, yeah. Totally, there were about 50 grams. Yeah. But how many um, how many amount of the lunar samples have been given? to your institute? Uh, so up to now, we have uh, uh, 365 milligram yeah, in three uh, uh, batches. So, yeah. mm. so first, we just have uh, 50 milligram, uh, milligram. So, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very, very so, uh, uh, tiny, you know. And also, it's a big challenge. <laughs> this uh, lunar oil sample is very, very fine. So. Um, you know, just one milligram contains more than 10,000 grams. Well, one milligram one contains... Milligram. Um, yeah, yes. So that, that means, this is, uh, 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 you know, one gram is okay. uh, 1,000 milligram. Uh, yeah, so, so that means one milligram contains more than 10,000 grams. You can image how fine it is. Yeah. How small the, the grain is it is. So, it is and yes, so this yeah. is a par this is a, with a difficulty the paramount difficulties of funding locating it by, by, by our IOS. So oh, it, yes. it can be seen just under the microscope. Okay, so, so okay. 
And also another uh, very challenge, so a big challenge, is how to select the how to select the particles. particles. Yes. Then, then the new maybe the new minerals. Yeah. yeah because uh, sometimes also it uh, uh, it is associated with other mm -hmm. minerals together. Yeah. yeah. The grain is very fine, and you have to separate them. Mm -hmm. So, so that means we have to do nanometer operation mm -hmm. uh, on this. Uh, Minerals, yes, yeah, with yes. with nano needles. So, so uh, uh, this is, after after uh, this section, we'll go inside into the laboratories and yeah, um, yeah. we'll talk with the different. Researchers. So you can see, we will show you this. Yeah. But before that, I'm just wondering. But before that, before we go into the different laboratories, we uh, have the question. So, what's the significance of locating, of uh, finding the particles of the new minerals? What's the meaning of that for the ordinary people for okay. for the world? Okay, uh, this kind of uh, new minerals is a rare earth element, rich phosphate. So uh, uh, phosphate uh, can be found very common, so actually in, 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 in the earth. Yeah, it can be used out, out to be mined to produce uh, uh, phosphor uh, fertilizer, you know. Yeah, this is also very popular for very good for the agriculture. And also rare earth element is also very important, so the strategic uh, Mineral resources. So mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, yeah, this is uh, I mean, the discovery of this mineral uh, itself. I mean, is also uh, great significance. Yes, yeah, uh, especially for China sound test. I think we are very proud of this. You yeah, know? So we're yeah, and, uh, we are also very proud because yeah. we heard from the press release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that discovery of the new minerals marking China as the third country in the world right, yeah. to locate, to, to, to find this discovery. So uh, how, how, how many years, how many decades um, there, is an, there is no such discoveries? Uh, I think, as I know, so uh, 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 U.S. Uh, uh, the upper the samples, yeah? So it's from the uh, 1960s, uh, later 1960s. So from that time up, to now, I think it's uh, almost 50, more than 50 years. More so than 50 years. This is, is, is uh, past, yeah, you know. Mm. Yeah, and uh, just uh, have discovered uh, four new minerals. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, the Russian, uh, former USSR sound test, I think also uh, discovered one. So, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. So, we are the uh, sixth one. So, and the sort of countries you are right, yes. And also, I think it's uh, also provide the new tech scientific data. Yeah, for uh, studies on okay. formation, origin, and the evolution of the of the moon, yeah. and also I think it is also a great significance for uh, studies on the future uh, exploration and research in the deep yeah, space. So this is our main objective, I think, is of our uh, uh, aerospace so program uh, exploration, I think, exploration program. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm also like, getting excited. It's because of your explanation, I could get more. Uh, I could I could get more insight into this uh, new funding of the news, this yeah. new elements, because we could have the uh, more knowledge on more understanding about the evolution, uh, development of the the moon itself, and also for the future deep space exploration. Oh, thank you so much, Professor. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's my yeah, it's yeah, my yeah, honor, yeah. and uh, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so I'm I'm now like, getting to the laboratories. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for receiving and watching our program uh, on this edition of the new discovery on lunar samples. Just now, Professor Li Ziying from uh, Beijing Research Insti Institute of the uh, Uranian Geology has shared with us his insight about the, uh, the general pro project. And now we're heading this building and getting into the very different laboratories. Follow me. Just be, be careful. <laughs> be careful of those steps. And uh, uh, for China's universities and also research institute like the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the buildings are usually the same. With the new buildings and old buildings, the old buildings that really look uh, um, make people so proud of the the history of development of the science. But the new building uh, give people the expectations for the future. And now in this building, we're getting closer to the laboratory of detecting and finding this new mineral. So please follow me. 
there were different laboratories, different side scanning electron microscope. Line scanning, point analysis, map analysis of different rooms, different laboratories for different uh, purposes. So according to the press release this morning, the biggest discovery of this, um, of this press release is, is about the, the new minerals. Inside this laboratory, we're, we're going to meet Mrs. Li Ping, uh, who is a researcher on this field. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Li Ping. Good to see you. Uh, so uh, this morning I saw you in the press release because you are the, one of the key or the backbone of this project. So can you describe to our audiences what you do usually do in this laboratory and what's the connection between it, between this laboratory and the new minerals? Okay. Uh, this uh, so, uh, this is really complicated because I, I have little, little knowledge on the nuclear industry. So when you describe to me, I have to try my best to um, explain to our audience because uh, Mrs. Li Ping just said, this laboratory is usually doing things with the technology of X-ray diffraction, right? And usually detecting the crystal structures of the, the elements or the minerals, right? Okay, thank you so much. And <laughs> uh, am I right? Okay, so um, could you describe the, this place to us? What's the usually the most important device for the uh, funding? Okay, uh, this device is. Oh, sorry. This, oh, this one. This one. Uh, single crystal X-ray diffraction. Ah. Uh, 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 so uh, it seems there there are different needles there, and in the middle there would be the samples. And right now it is not the lunar sample, right? Uh, uh, so now this is uh, sampled on Earth, from the Earth. It is a demonstration to us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So now uh, this is only the demonstration because the lunar sample particles is really, So this is only the demonstration because the lunar sample particles is really, really tight, tiny. So how do you usually do that? Uh, first, we the this is the Mrs. Miss Li Ting is uh, doing the circling around, and we could see the needle and the particle on top of that is turning around. While at the same time, uh, my dear cameraman, just to turn around, and the see there is also turning around at its top. It's just a tiny needle, really, really tiny. It is turning around. So why it is it turning around? Can you explain to us? Uh, so, uh, Ms. Li Ling, just explain to me, uh, they have to make the uh, the, the particles, the, the samples, in line with the X-ray ascent from the left side. At that time, it could be the uh, could be real and it could be detected. Okay, okay. So uh, just turn turn it back, and we can see. Uh, can, you, can you say something to us about the, uh, the this one? Uh -huh. what, what is it? what is this? Uh, 这是我给大家准备的一个稍微大一点的颗粒。我们实际测试的时候，就是样品在这个玻璃丝的尖端，然后呃X射线通过样品后携带了结构的数据，被演被这个探测器收集到，然后来进行下一步的晶体结构的解
this is quite interesting. But uh, can you show us something, uh, some images for the uh, video clip about the uh, lunar uh, the lunar sample and your discovery? Okay. So this is not this is not the uh, perhaps it's not the real, but uh, this is a simulation based on the data analysis. It is a uh, the crystal crystal form of this new mineral, which is called the Chang'eite. And that is the uh, best condition. And these scientists are trying to give us the image, just like the Hubble telescope. They have to give, give us not only the, uh, the, the facts and the figures and, and, the, and the statistics, but also the image which can show us and let everybody understand right. Yes. This is a very beautiful and beautiful image. So you have a clear image of So I'm really impressed. But this is a... This is really beautiful, but uh, when all these uh, minerals come together, is it, would it be really, really expensive? <laughs> so uh, I'm a city to ask this question, but I'm just wondering, um, the, uh, the lunar sample, we, we call it, you know, we call it um, there's, no, there's, there, there's no way to give it a price. It's just a priceless thing. It's just really valuable. So um, I'm just wondering, when you do the research and analysis on the lunar samples, uh, how do you feel? Because I heard there were a lot of challenges. Uh, yes, the lunar sample is very expensive, and it is impossible to be So when we do the lunar sample, we feel so let's go back to the uh, the crystal, the crystal created by the uh, the, uh, the computer uh, in C, uh, CG, um, the form of the crystal, like the uh, the crystal form of this lunar sample. Uh, Ms. Leeting, just to share with us her feelings. Because the lunar sample is really, really precious, and even she sometimes and feel um, there's a great pressure, and so uh, they have to pay a lot of attention to that, and that's what they usually do. But I am just wondering for the lunar samples you during the going through the detections analysis in this machine, how long does it take? Uh. 我们测试这个数据是用了两天多的时间,然后解析这个数据用了一个多周,但是前期的样品制备的环节就非常长。So uh, well, well actually the analysis with this machine only took about two days, and the following tests took, it, took it about another week, but the preparation for this process took a long time. Uh, just because I, in, in before, when I listened uh, to your introduction to this machine, you shared with us uh, for two months you couldn't even sleep because uh, there were too many particles. And you tell us, oh, even one tiny particle of the lunar sample is, is, is just uh, less than one two hundredths of the uh, ordinary seed of the assessment in our ordinary life. That is really, really tiny. So uh, could, you, could you show us um, um, how did you overcome the difficulties and finally got the results? Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, first, we have to do this, like the medical doctor, the medical doctor, so we say uh, the very hard, hard, strong will, just like the surgery doctors, and also with the support from her teammates, and she did, she did that. So thank you so much for sharing with us what you do here for this very uh, breakthrough, breakthrough in the history of mankind. Thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, next one, uh, we'll go into the different laboratory and what do you recommend? Uh, we can go to the Okay.
So thank you so much. And uh, we'll go to the uh, another laboratory which is doing the research on the helium three, a potential um, fusion energy source in the future. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Oh, oh my God. Be careful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're heading towards another laboratory um, during the research and analysis on the lunar samples brought back by Chang'e 5 lunar crew. Just um, in front of us, there is a laboratory. So when I get in closer to this laboratory, I got really, really excited because we usually uh, saw in movies about the uh, fusion reactors. And now in the future, perhaps there would be such an um, energy source that is the helium tree. And this uh, laboratory is doing things like that. Hello. Uh, this is Mr. Li Jinjie. Who is in charge of this laboratory here? Yeah. Uh, sir, can you share with us what you do you usually do? Because uh, the heating three is usually the part of the analysis and research on the lunar sample this time. Because uh, in the past, other countries also did this, such uh, experiments and uh, findings. Uh, let's share with us what you do. Okay. Uh, yes, as you said, the helium three is a uh, future, future energy, mm. potential future, future energy, I think. Yeah. It, but as you said, the, 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 uh, the helium-3 concentration is closely related with the mineral type and the particle set distribu distribution. Oh. So, you know, the landing site is a new, a, a new area. Yes. So I think the, uh, the mineral types and the particle set distribution is somewhat different with, that, uh, with the soils returned by other projects. Yes. So I think it is very meaningful for me to determine the helium-3 concentration yes. of our own lunar soils. Yeah, so so uh, for yes. me, it is very fortunate and very... Uh, you make me proud because in this morning, uh, during the press conference, I, I, I saw some people, including you and others, your teammates, went on the stage and received the... Uh, the clapping and frizzle from the audiences because this is a breakthrough. This yeah, is yeah. a breakthrough in decades. Yeah, yeah. Little and little yes, little breakthrough is yeah, also yeah, modest. Yeah. Uh, because Mr. Li Jinjie is uh, really modest and also very cautious in balancing using language. Yeah. When I talked to him about the, uh, about the fusion energy source, um, the role that the healing street is playing, but uh, he would say potential. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one potential. is really, really impressive. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. would you say that? Because uh, in theory, the, the helium-3 and the helium-3 fusion is a hard uh, work. So, but because they need, a, they need extremely conditions to, to make this fusion, uh, to make this, this fusion... The possible. Yeah, yeah, the possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it needs a long road to go. Yeah. But I think the resource we can to we can now to evaluate the resource to um, make some preparation for the future future energy. Yes, yeah. I totally agree with that because I'm yeah. co I've been covering the nuclear industry sometimes yeah. for exactly um, seven years. So we know that China has been participating the second largest. Um, international cooperation project, ne just next to the ISS, that is ATER, yeah. that is uh, yeah. Yeah. based in France, yeah. um, that is uh, the fusion reactor commonly yeah. jointly researched by uh, dozens of countries, including China. So yeah. uh, that would take a lot of time, even decades. Uh, even in our life, we couldn't see that. But in the future, yeah. it could be potential. Yeah. Uh, so that would be also yeah. uh, happening here in the Helium Street. Yeah. So could you also uh, introduce to us um, what kind of devices you usually do in this laboratory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel a little bit cold here. So, so the, the, the environment is somewhat <laughs> cold because the, the operator condition of the instrument needs a low temperature. So the, the, the instrument is a uh, gas mass spectrometer. And I am, in, I am in this laboratory for 10 years. For 10 years? Yeah, 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 for 10 years. <coughs> so, 
Yes, I'm coughing because this is really, really cold. <laughs> so what about the temperature now? It's about 20 centigrade. It's about 20, 20 centigrade, centigrade. centigrade. So yes. Because the instrument is very sensitive. So if the temperature is fluctuates and the instrument is fluctuates, yes. so the signal may be disappeared oh. when you measure the Halib 3. Yes, yeah. I, I, I know that um, our audiences are curious about the, uh, yeah. the devices, what you're doing here. Can you do a little introduction to these devices? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. You mean you introduce this? Introduce some part of the. Uh, oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. I, I think uh, maybe <coughs> a, a short, a brief introduction. Yeah, something related with the, uh, the okay. research. This is the furnace, and it's for the helium 3 extraction from the lunar soils. Mm. So we just uh, raise the temperature, and the helium 3 can be extracted from the soils. Mm. And then the helium 3. Of course, there are, there are other gases in the lunar soil, just like nitrogen, oxygen, and uh, some other active gases. Yes. Yeah, so we need to remove them. Only left the helium straight to our instrument. Okay. So this system is for the active gas remove, just the to add, just to trap them, mm. and only left the helium straight to this mass spectrometer and oh. measure the helium straight. Mm. So this is a whole system for this analysis work. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that is really impressive. Uh, thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah. And we, we hope that um, this project can continue and make more contributions to our world and our people. Thank okay. you so much. It's really my great honor to complete this work for okay. me. For me. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we are at the Beijing Research Institute of the Uranian Geology. Um, this morning in China, and Beijing has breaking the big news that uh, the scientists uh, from China has discovered uh, the new mineral from the lunar samples brought back by the Chang'e 5 lunar probe in late 2020. And during the past two years, scientists across the, the, the country have been doing uh, the great job and they have making the industrious um, uh, discoveries, including this one. And this afternoon, we share with you the experiences from these scientists and what they do in the laboratories. Well, I hope you that um, could enjoy it. And in the future, we will bring more uh, discoveries on the lunar samples um, discovered by Chinese scientists. Now, I'm going to join Mr. Liu Jinjie and talk with him and be the student to him and ask him more questions. So that's this the edition of the last training. Thank you so much. See you next time. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.